That's a steel, yo. Fuck Jewel. Once again, that number is 1 800. Fuck Jewel. Oh my. Dude, look up inside of there. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you saw last video, we actually introduced the brand new 1999 Lexus LS 400 um, as the new project car. And uh, yeah, we said we had a surprise, and I picked up some brand new, well actually not very brand new. Um, these are some K-Sport LS400 coilovers that I, uh, I picked, off of, uh, picked up off of a buddy of mine in Tallahassee, owns a shop, um, cars. Hit them up if, uh, if you're in the area, do great work. He had a LS400 that ended up getting an accident and these weren't on it very long. Um, so it's just been sitting in the car in the back of their lot for for a while so i talked to him i picked these up for a good price shout out rodney shout out um Devante. and uh yeah we're gonna throw these johnnies on and and see how low we can go with these stock wheels might have to tuck the wiring harness a little bit but see how fast we can get this done Oh, all right, we're starting on the coilovers and uh, quick and easy. First bolt out on the, uh, the bottom mount and coilovers free. So other than that, I'm just gonna take off the top three and I believe this bad boy should just slide out. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. Hmm. Other than that, I mean, there's nothing else, nothing else stopping the coilover, so. Um, haven't looked at the back yet, but I don't know. These seem pretty, pretty straightforward. Four bolts. As long as I don't have to finagle it through anything, um, and then we'll, we'll work on the back. So we'll see how fast we can get this done. Best way to get this Johnny out of here. Hmm. <sighs> Might be easier if I try to take off the, uh, I don't know, upper wishbone, whatever it's called. Might try that real quick. Take this off. Well, I get set up to take these two off too. But we'll see. We'll try it out and uh, go from there, I guess. All right. So we got the coil over off. Um, ran into a problem trying to get it out. Um, the spindle right here and the wishbone upper um, was basically hitting on the spring. And I didn't want to separate this. I don't have a fork uh, to get that ball joint. So basically what I did was down here on the lower, I took this uh, mount off. There's two, um, there's two bolts, one right there and one right there, um, which kind of holds the, this is where the bottom of the coilover goes in, this hole. Um, so I took that off and it allowed me to basically move the bottom of the coilover um, just cause the bottom kept getting stuck. So. Uh, when I install the new one, I will just end up putting a putting this jack underneath um, the rotor and lifting this whole thing up so that once I have those bolts in, um, everything can match up with the bottom. So um, we're going to try putting this side together and then I'll do the exact same thing for the other side. Quick little update. Stevie boy pulled up. Um, we are actually, well, as you can see, I changed. I showered real quick. We're heading to a pop-up meet and uh, all the boys, I think, sliding out. We're gonna go meet them at Wawa real quick, but um, we got one side done. Um, car's not even lowered on the ground yet. And you guys can see this, this thing is uh, pretty, pretty low. It's a whole but, pizza. Um, so um, I guess I'll do the other side tomorrow. I gotta hit Action Tire uh, Kingdom tomorrow. 
Um, I'm gonna be doing a behind the scenes of a music video um, tomorrow. I'll introduce you guys to that. And, um, and then yeah, I'll have to do the back. So tomorrow's another day. What is up, what is up, welcome back. It is currently actually the last, or the uh, next night. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. Uh, came down here for the weekend, only planned on, on working on the car one day, but got cut short yesterday because uh, went and hung out with the boys. So we have made, pro well, made progress real quick. Took out this bottom bolt, uh, coilover bolt, and took off the top ones, as you guys can see here. Um, on LS 400s, you have to take off the top of the spindle. So take this cotter pin out and then if this is pressed in, um, honestly, just take a hammer, hammer that up so they disconnect and then this should be able to slide out. So I'm going to do that real quick. Um, Steven and Jalil are on their way here. I believe Dre is going to come too and we're going to try to knock this LS out even though it's on stocks. I may have to raise it up a little bit just for clearance, but um, or at least so the tires can turn. But well, we'll take you guys along for the process and, and um, if I run into anything else and start in the back. So stay tuned. Okay, Quick little update. All right, uh, boys pulled up. Yo, Jalil, say what's good. Yeah, see, if you look at this right here, um, that's tucking, buddy. That's tucking. Alan, tell me, is that tucking? Um, it's tucking like the front of my pants under my stomach. All right, all right, all right. So, um, <clears throat> I ended up not taking off the upper, and I just took off the mount that holds the bottom of the coilover in, which allowed me to basically break it free. Um, so yeah, it wasn't that hard. It took like 20 minutes. It was a little bit of tension, but I got it off. So, I just put the front, the fronts on, and. Uh, they're pretty low. I haven't touched the backs yet. We're about to start on those, but oh yeah. What you think? You're forgetting one thing. Hold on. The L for low, bro. Tell me, tell me. L for what? Yeah. L for low, bro. Okay. What am I gonna do? Low. Ooh. Oh, what's up, Bobo? All right, we are. Uh, just start on the back, I guess. You need to and slam diesel next. Slam diesel? He's a little bit too lifted. They slammed him, bro. They got rid of his nuts. Right. We, we did. He has cancer. Oh, shit. Yeah. Alright, guys. Catch up with you guys later. <laughs> Alright. Uh, just turned it around. I believe um, I'm going to have to take out the back seat so that I can get to the top hat of the rear coilover. Steven's breaking the lugs right now. Just gonna put on jack stands and honestly i have no idea how easy or hard the the rears are so just gonna kind of go for it and i don't know hopefully hopefully it's not that hard it's kind of like the front this is the sketchiness of uh octane zip ties look at this look at this right here that's right there whole car is being held up by that oh. 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 Oh, shoot me shoot me I ain't fucking with you, man. Ew, ew. I heard you started with lame, man. Oh. Ah. I see you posted with lame, man. Ah. Ah. Oh, that car not the same, man. Ah. Oh. Sheesh. 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 Okay. Are they even off the ground? Nope. The jack is. Dude. The jack is mad. <laughs> Jalil, tell us something that you learned in Japan. Something that I learned in Japan. Yo, that yeah. niggas are nasty. Like nasty? Like they're not nasty, but like there are certain things that they do that like you could not do here. Like, like when you're on the train, bro. So let's say so. Let's say let's say this is me. I'm sitting right here, and I'm the person that gets on the train, right? Yo, I'm trying to. I'm listening. I'm listening, Joel. So look, this is what they're gonna do. So I'm sitting here, and they'll sit down next to me. And most of the time they're courteous, like they'll have a mask on if they're sick or whatever, right? Which is, you know, that's, that's cool. Yeah. But if they don't have a mask on and they're sick, bro, they'll just sit next to you like this. <laughs> and like all good, like, and, and you and you just sit there and you just take it, you're like. 
Yeah, because what, what they do is, if, if they're sick, they wear a mask. If they're not sick, they wear it because they don't want to get sick. Like, for example, if you have something big coming up, like a wedding or an event or something, and you like, yo, I cannot be sick for this, right. you prevent yourself well, from getting sick. I thought sick. Japan was super clean. Why are all these people sick? Uh, you want to know what my, like, fucked up analysis is? Is that their immune system is terrible because they're so clean that they've never been exposed to anything. Oh, okay, so sure. all the tourists come and give them, like, mesothelioma and stuff? The fuck is mesothelioma? <laughs> is that even English? <laughs> mesothelioma. In your life, that you, you have, have the shingles virus. The shingles virus is already inside of you. Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> you, may be you may be eligible for compensation. <laughs> no, it's con now. no, it's contemplation with your doctor. I thought it was compensation. I thought it's you compensation. Get it's compensation. What? It's, it's like, definitely if compensation. I, if I had the chicken pox, I'm gonna get compensated for being sick. Yes. Right? That's what they said. Are they gonna give me like 500 bucks? That's yeah. What they no. Said in the Oma commercials that you can get comp. It's like I want to get it now. Like, like oh, watch, watch it around. 20 years from now, they're gonna be like, if you smoke jewel in the past 20 years, you can be compensated. Dial please this number call, today. Please call 1 800 fuck jewel. Once again, that number is 1 800 fuck. Jewel. Bro, have you seen how big these are, bro? Oh my, dude, look up inside of there. Oh my god, dude, those things are like twenty years long, dude. How long is it? Like, if you could compare it to something, what would you compare it to? Like a Velociraptor and like a Triceratops neck. It's like. A yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, okay, right. can't explain it, you know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? I mean, me, me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you think you can run as far as, like, as long as this? Run as far as like, long as 20 years? Like, run, yeah. Do you think you can do it? If I had a boat. This is a boat. Well, then, there's your answer, bud. That's so silly, young. Alright. Uh, took off the back. These things are stupid long. So all you have to do is take this long bolt out. Where is it? About the same size. So that just goes through. And then um, I just took a chisel. And since I'm not using these coilovers, I just hit the, hit the bottom of the coilover out of its little placeholder or whatever, because there was some tension. So now I just have to get to the back three um, top bolts and hopefully it'll just be able to slide through and then I can just pull it out. Hopefully these are easier in the front. So keep you guys updated um, once I figure out how to get to the top hat of the rear coilover. <sighs> All right, so um, I actually looked it up on YouTube, funny enough, um, how to take these rear seats off. Pretty tight, tight space to get into, but all um, of them are behind the headrest. Either way, yeah, there's two I don't know, I'll have to get it later. There's one behind this flap, one behind this flap. And then if you move this, um, there's, I was told two, but I, no, there's three. So I need to take off this next one. And then I believe this whole thing will move forward, but to get the seat belts off, um, there's a flathead, I believe in here. Yeah. You guys can, yeah, you guys can see that. So that will need to be undone to take the, actually no. I think we might be able to separate this. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but, and uh, I'll let you guys know, but I think it is those three bolts and then the two ones behind the headrest. If I find any more, I will let you know. All right, welcome back, welcome back. So what we ended up doing was um, the bolts that I showed you guys, those come off. And then on the bottom, there is uh, right above where the, um, what should we call it, seatbelt goes, there's, four bolts there's one here one here and then vice versa or the same on the other side um and then those come off and then on top of that uh pretty much just slid out um slid out of the seat belts these seat belts are loose and then what i did was there's a little covering coating that goes right here behind this and uh basically i just slid that off so there's going to be this uh top hat cover that goes on there um three bolts when you take that off there's gonna be three more bolts which i just undid and um and yeah so honestly wasn't that hard the hardest part i think of taking these back coilovers off is actually taking the back seat out there was a bunch of gunk and stuff back there i had steven uh do the shot back which was which was cool so i'm gonna try to take this out hopefully it'll just slide out and then 
I'll take off the bolts on the other side. So stay tuned. Quick little update. We got the uh, coilover installed, one of the coilovers, and these bolts are tight in here. Um, I recommend putting this bolt on the bottom in first. Ooh, where is it? I, re I recommend putting this one in first. Once that's in, uh, jack the whole assembly up and it'll go through the holes. Um, yeah, pretty easy. Steven is putting on the final final touches. I put on the top hat bolts on both sides. I didn't put the cover or the back seat in yet because we're we're mobbing with Jalil. But um, but yeah, so the front is is pretty dumped right now. Um, not sure how the back is gonna be. Um, I'll walk you guys over and show you how it's sitting right now in the air. So right now it's sitting pretty pretty low in the air. So. I'm figuring it's gonna be it's gonna be tucking quite a bit. So, um, yeah, I rub a little bit when I turn in the front, but with the fat tires, I knew I would. But uh, but yeah, so I mean, honestly, not not very hard install. Um, the front wishbones are kind of a pain in the butt on the front, but the back is pretty much honestly the hardest part was taking out the back seat. So once you get the back seat out. Once you get those bolts out and figure out, you know, clean up that the, the back and stuff. Um, it's one bolt and then the cover and then the top out bolt. So super straightforward, super easy. Probably one of the easiest coilover install that I've done. All right, all right. We just uh, dropped off Jalil and um, yeah, pulled up underneath the, I guess the Wawa. So I'll show you guys what the car looks like. car's not bad right now um the rear will end up probably going lower with the rear i want to go lower in the front but right now while tyler's driving it and the fat tires it rubs quite a bit um i've still got still got the back seats gutted but i'll i'll put all all that together before before i head back up um but yeah other than that i mean pretty easy install and i'm happy with with how it sits right now so the boat is a uh, boat's making moves, yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> I think it's a shout out MG Camps. Hey, there you go. All right, well, this will uh, this will conclude the end of the video. Maybe I'll get a little bit of footage tomorrow, raising it up some um, for Ty to drive. But other than that, I don't know. Happy with the coilovers for now, and I'll probably end up going with some stiffer springs, um, just so not as bouncy i think i have 8k in the front and 12 in the rear and the fronts are are, are pretty bouncy i want to go i'd rather stiff um than a bunch of recoil so other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned for more content like comment subscribe show some love share the video with your friends family relatives whoever else love you guys peace